Hey guys and welcome to a new video of Bitcoin Edge Trail taking a look into the charts and we're as always starting with the S&P 500, the Dixie and the Nasdaq Top 100. The Nasdaq Top 100 and the Dixie did some sort of a bearish retest if you ask me. Um, they just tested this break of this trend line over here. Same on the S&P 500. Um, taking a closer look at the Dixie, uh, they found some support over here. Uh, but what we really want is for them to break this trend line. Um, I'm all about trend lines. Um, as you guys might know by now, uh, we want the Dixie to zero uh, so everything can go up. Um, and that is basically always what we look at. Um, if you're new to trading or if you're trading but you're not that prof profitable as you would like to be, um, please contact me. Um, I offer a trading course. It's quite simple. Um, all the tips and tricks you need are in there. What to look at based like and, and trade based on what you know is actually working. Uh, I've been doing this for quite a while. Um, just a close look at the, at the Dixie, you know. Supports are over here and for now short term support would be this one of course. Making um, a higher low over here would be good makes us time to go up again and what you want to see is them breaking that resistance. Bitcoin, very calm all-time high today. Um, what did we see? Well, we saw fundings rising here of the Elon pump or the Tesla pump as we would call it, uh, rising and then, you know, slowly yeah, dragging down till fundings corrected and premiums disappeared and then breaking up again. Uh, looking very good today, I would say. Um, and yeah, uh, right now, uh, at this moment, you know, fundings and premiums are quite high and 50k will be a big resistance. The order books are stacked over there with asks. So 50k will be a tough one. Um, what could make us pump through it is spot buying on, for example, Coinbase um, and people shorting over here so we can short squeeze through it. Right now, it's still a big cookie. Um, Yes, yeah, same for Bitcoin over here, run the daily, um, nothing too important, we can zoom into the 5 minute if you guys want. And we just, um, I think maybe a falling wedgie or something like that, or a bull flag forming at the moment. Um, and this is a very important level as we can see over here. Maybe, you know, tap this VPVR over here, T test the breakout from over here. Um, but I mean, it's looking good. Um, the only thing we want is people to short this level. Ethereum. Ethereum did not break an all-time high, but it's still looking good. It's making, um, I would say, another rising wedge at the moment. Um, and, Bitcoin, uh, and Ethereum has been making a lot of rising wedges lately. And they've all been breaking up to the upside on higher time frames and on lower time frames. Really special. Because rising wedges usually are bearish. But in a bull market, you know, everything can break up. Ethereum BTC, however, is not looking that good. Um, it's looking kind of weak. Um, this is still remains the target on a lower time frame. It is not looking that strong. I would not be trading this pair if I were you. Um, this should be a support, I guess. Um, but yeah, they're just dying down and we want them to hold these levels and especially this one, I would say. Uh, for now, on a lower time frame and a one hour, we want them to hold this low over here to make a higher low. And then we want them to break this one to make higher highs. Uh, Dogecoin, um, I mean, I'm very bearish on it and I think they will soon break down from here. Uh, they will break this level. Um, I'm not shorting it anymore. I already did that. Really profitable, really funny. Um, but yeah, they will die down again. Uh, Elon Musk's tweets lost their impact. And uh, yeah, they will die down from here. Quite the cliff they can jump from. Um, and yeah, I mean... Doge BTC is doing that already, I would say. Just broke down from that. Litecoin charted this, um, what is it, last week or something, and uh, yeah, followed the plan of like 
walking the stairs of, of, of resistance, you know, looking very good, making higher highs, higher lows, uh, looking very strong, will probably resume the uptrend towards the all-time highs. Like I said, right now, fundings are very high. Um, and yeah, that needs to correct. We need them to, to, go, to go down, to go up again. Um, and yeah, like I said, if you are struggling as a trader, uh, if you're new to trading, um, yeah, contact me. I'm selling a course into trading and making a living out of that. Um, yeah, just contact me for details and let me know um, what you guys think. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see in the videos. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow.